Can God change your life in the next 30 minutes? I believe you're watching right now because God has something special for you. Join me for Jewish Voice and you'll discover how Bible prophecy is coming to pass before our very eyes and why you need to stand with Israel. You can play a role in God's end time plan. Find out how on Jewish Voice. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice. I'm so glad that you've joined us today. I'm Jonathan Burness, and I'm joined by my co-host Ezra Benjamin. And today we're going to be looking at a topic you may never have heard teaching about. You may think of the Bible as two books, the Old and New Testament or the Old and New Covenant. But in fact, there are covenants in Scripture, plural, covenants, agreements that God has made with man, and they're actually built one on top of the other. So we're going to be looking at the various covenants of God throughout history. I think you'll find this highly informative, and it's going to help you understand how this book, from Genesis all the way through Revelation, is one unfolding story of God's redemption and his call to us to love him and to serve him. Ezra, I think we, we oversimplify the Bible in many ways. We oversimplify it, and, and sometimes we, we make it too complicated. Both are true. Yeah, and I think sometimes, Jonathan, we look at one part detached from the rest and say, here's what I'm supposed to be picking up, and that's not untrue. Uh, the Lord can speak to us through a, a single passage of Scripture. But as you said, the whole story, God's covenant faithfulness to Israel right. and to all those who would call upon His name, that's the big idea. Yeah. And that's what we're going to unpack today. Yeah. I think the first point that we need to talk about is that God works with man hmm. through something called covenant. In Hebrew, brit. The, this, this is the way that, that God has mm -hmm. uh, connected from the very beginning with us. And there's been a, a progression over the historical biblical timeline. Right. Now, Jonathan, maybe our audience is thinking, okay, covenant, I'm not sure I can explain in my own words exactly what that means. Can we start with the difference between covenant and contract? We live in a very contractual society, right? right? Either party might break this agreement. If so, here's how that's done and here's the consequences and we move on. But a covenant is a very different thing. Yeah, what makes a covenant so different First of all, every covenant, which, which loosely is an agreement, but every covenant is with blood. It's the, mm -hmm. There's an action to covenant. Uh, the word breet mm -hmm. or bris is to cut. Mm -hmm. So it's actually God cutting a covenant. Mm -hmm. And what makes it eternal, Ezra, and every covenant is eternal, is that God is making the covenant with himself. He's swearing, he's binding it with the sh with shed blood, mm -hmm. and it's and he, he's the one that is the guarantor of the covenant. So important because so, in a in a contract, right? Either party can break the agreement, and it's possible. But in a covenant with God, he's not going to break his end. That, of it. that that's right. We he might break our end. Holds up his end. He's the yeah. co-signer on a loan. Right. That will that. So you know it's good. Yeah. It is good. Every covenant that God made with man is good, it's solid, mm -hmm. it has meaning for today. And so we're going to unpack this a bit because, again, one of the oversimplifications uh, that most Christians have concerning the Bible is there's two mm -hmm. books. Mm -hmm. And one is, is, has some relevance for historical purposes, right. but it's pretty much dead. It's pretty much done away with. It's, it's of course, I'm talking about the Old Covenant, uh -huh. the Old Testament, and it's, it's law, we've passed that. Right. And so in many cases, the Old Testament is uh, very... Um, uh, it's neglected. Neglected, and yeah. the pages in many cases are still stuck together. Hmm. And then you see with the New Testament that it's well read. Sure. And I think that's a big mistake because this is the revelation of God from beginning to end. Yeah, and speaking of the beginning of it, Jonathan, talk to us about kind of what's, what's the bottom of the pyramid? What's the first covenant that we see in Scripture? Okay, so we'll actually put this up so you can see it on the screen, but it's like a pyramid. I drew this like a pyramid mm -hmm. because one is built upon the foundation of the other. Mm -hmm. And the first one 
uh, and, and some see more. There are more, mm -hmm. but these are the foundational ones, I believe. So mm -hmm. we're not going to get into some of the other ones. We're not going to talk about the Davidic covenant mm -hmm. and, and some of the others that Bible teachers uh, would also highlight. But uh, the bottom of the pyramid for me is the Adamic covenant. And that's simply that God created the world. And on the sixth day, he creates man. And he names them man, Adam. Right. Uh, and he then provides a helpmate, mm -hmm. uh, actually uh, performs surgery and removes from his own rib a helpmate, mm -hmm. uh, which becomes uh, the woman, Eve. A helper so suitable the helper, for Adam. A helper suitable. Yeah. And here's the covenant, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm going to put it up on the screen so you can follow along. The, the, Abra the uh, uh, Adamic covenant goes all the way back to Genesis chapter 1. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll go back to verse 24. So let's put it up on the screen. Then God said, let the land bring forth living creatures according to their species, livestock, crawling creatures, wild animals, according to their species. And, and it happened so. God made the wild animals according to their species, the livestock, according to their species and everything that crawls on the ground, each according to its species, and God saw that it was good. And then God said, verse 26, let us make man in our image. So man is separated from all of uh, the, the other creation of God, made in his image, and then it says, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea, over the flying creatures and the sky, over the livestock, over the whole earth, and over every cre crawling creature that crawls on the land. God created humankind, mankind, now humankind, in his image. In the image of God, cr he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. We're going to come back to that thought. Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the land and conquer it. Rule over the fish in the sea, the flying creatures of the sky, and over every animal that crawls on the land. Now later, that's sealed with, with skin to cover them when they realize that they're naked. Right. But that's jumping out of ourselves. This is the first covenant, the first agreement that God makes that cuts a covenant with man. And there's very specific elements of that covenant. So much there in terms of the depth of the covenant, Jonathan, and that's just literally one chapter into the Bible. Uh, it would be impossible for us to cover all the details of all five there's of so these much, covenants. There's so much here. In today's program, and you've uh, written some fantastic materials. One of them's right in front of you. I'm holding the study guide, and you have the book, yeah. Unlocking the Prophetic Mysteries of Israel. At least three of the covenants we're going to uh, cover today on the show in, in very at a very high level are included in detail yeah, in this I book. I said earlier that you can't really take the covenants out of context. Right. If you really want to understand God's redemptive plan, you have to look at the different covenants and how they're built on top of each other. And I do that in uh, a book that I wrote called Unlocking the Prophetic Mysteries of Israel. It's not just about the new covenant. You have to go all the way back to the Adamic covenant and then talk about Abraham because God has a continual plan of redemption. I like to say it this way, Ezra, to, to understand what the future holds, you have to go back to the past. That's right. And so I cover uh, much of the covenants in unlocking the prophetic mysteries of Israel. I think this will really enhance your understanding of Scripture. And we want to sow it into your life this week as a way of saying thank you for standing with us as we provide urgently needed medical care and water purifiers in places like Ethiopia and Zimbabwe. There's Jewish people there, and they're suffering from COVID, and they're in desperate need of, of the basic uh, needs of life. They, they don't have food, uh, so we're helping them with food right now as we tape this. That's right. We, are on, we have a food distribution program going on, and uh, you can get involved in that and make a difference. Most importantly, we're sharing the gospel. That's Amen. what we're about. We have some other materials, too. Yeah. Jonathan, for those uh, watching at home who really are feeling that burden on the heart of the Lord for you to get involved in blessing Jewish people in the name of Jesus, uh, for those who can partner with us on a monthly basis, we have a replica, a great practical 3D reminder of the Ark. And those who are Bible scholars at home, you know it's really the Ark of the Covenant. Why is that? Because the children of Israel were actually commanded 
to keep the tablets of the Ten Commandments that Moses brought down from Sinai, that second set that wasn't destroyed, inside this golden ark, gold-covered ark, it's and beautiful to bring this too. wherever they it's went. It's beautiful. Actually, Ezra, I, have, I took a larger version of this to the president of Ethiopia, wow. and I went back a year later, and it was the featured thing on his desk. Hmm. So there's, if you have one, it'll match the one in the president's office in Ethiopia. But it's just a keepsake, a reminder that I'm reaching Jewish people. I'm helping Jewish people mm -hmm. to hear the gospel and to uh, bring to pass what this represents, the law of God written in our hearts. So I hope you'll get involved. We have a study guide also we want to send you. We don't sell materials, we sow them into the lives of those that sow into this ministry so we can provide the gospel to Jewish people in practical ways. Here's how to get involved. God's covenants with his people are everlasting and are just as important to us today as they were when they were established thousands of years ago. It's important to know and remember these covenants to strengthen your faith in God. Jonathan wants to help you expand your knowledge of both the Old and New Testament, which is why he wrote Unlocking the Prophetic Mysteries of Israel. This intriguing book provides a perspective on the covenants of God and much, much more. Jonathan's unique Jewish view of scripture and his 38 years of study on this subject will inform and inspire you. Unlocking the Prophetic Mysteries of Israel is available today for your one-time gift of $40 and is supplemented by the companion study guide perfect for your Bible study. Don't miss this opportunity to receive both of these resources as you support Jewish Voice Ministries with a one-time gift today of $40 or more. Jonathan is encouraging you to join him as a new monthly Shalom partner today. Your continued monthly gifts are vital in providing the ongoing support so desperately needed in these communities. As you make an ongoing commitment and become a new monthly Shalom partner with a gift of just $30 today, you'll not only receive Unlocking the Prophetic Mysteries of Israel and the Study Guide, but Jonathan will also send you this stunning reproduction of the Ark of the Covenant, accurately depicting the Ark described in Scripture. This replica will remind you of God's faithfulness to those who call on His name. Again, you will receive all of these resources for your generous support of just $30 a month. Your gift today can change a life, providing the opportunity to not only meet their physical needs, but also the chance to share the love of Jesus in a very real and personal way. Call our 800 number now and let our representative know what level of giving you would like to participate in. If you prefer, you can always choose to give online at jewishvoice.tv or you can simply text JVMI to 474747. You can also donate by mailing your gift to the address on the screen. If you are already a Shalom partner, please call to receive a special offer just for you. Thank you for your generous support of Jewish Voice and for making a difference in so many lives through your sacrifice. Now, let's rejoin Jonathan and Ezra. Welcome back. We're talking about the covenants of God, and this is so important. You may have never heard this before, but it will really change the way you read Scripture. Before we get back into this uh, conversation with Ezra, I want to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you to all of you who are supporting Jewish Voice. Honestly, we could not do this work without you. Your gifts are making a real difference in the lives of so many who would suffer illness and thirst if it weren't for your generosity. I'm talking about Jewish people, and many are coming to faith. They're embracing Jesus as their Messiah through your generosity. So thank you again for your support, and especially for joining Jewish Voice as a monthly Shalom partner. Your ongoing support of this ministry is so valued, so thank you. Ezra, we're so grateful for our partners. We are. As you said, Jonathan, we really couldn't be out there traveling around the world reaching Jewish people without that uh, ongoing support. A and we're talking about thousands of, of people that are getting medical care. Yeah, especially yeah. these days with COVID, with the unrest, not just in our country, but worldwide. What better time than now to yeah. be out there 
sharing hope and helping Jewish communities in Jesus' name. And partners have stuck with us. You've stuck with us through this whole COVID crisis. That's right. And we're able to give to, to, to other ministries in need as well. Yeah, because what a of blessing that. because been, of your support to be in a position to give. I, I am, I'm, we're so grateful. Yeah. Anyway, the covenants. This is such a huge topic. We're trying to cover it in such a short time. Right, and I wish we had hours, but we don't. We have only a few minutes, Jonathan. So right back into it. We're here at the base of the pyramid, the Adamic covenant. And you read some scriptures uh, from Genesis chapter 1. Let me try to summarize. So delegated authority made in the image of God to rule over the earth, to have dominion over the rest of creation. Uh, and I'm thinking again of the power of our words to speak life or to speak death over the things we're ruling right. over. Be fruitful and multiply. Uh, what else? I mean, there's so much there, Jonathan. Those are the two that stuck with me. Well, I call it cre the, the covenant of creation and delegation. God creates everything, and then he says to humankind, to Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. You're, you have the land grant. I mean, literally, hmm. I, I, I can see them handed the title deed. You run this place right. under my dominion in relationship with me, mm -hmm. and the decisions that you make are binding. Wow. You have that kind of authority. Now, that's a setup for everything else we know because that's, right. that's how we lost dominion. Humankind lost dominion over the earth because of that delegated authority. But that's the Adamic covenant, God creating man for this fellowship and this fruitful relationship where we're called to multiply. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, that carries throughout the scriptures. When we're called by God, and this is true of every one of us, we've been called to be fruitful and multiply. That's right, that's right. And As we're parents, not throwing that away. We're still called to rule over it, to have dominion over creation, and still called to be fruitful and multiply. Right. If you've been taught that we throw away each covenant when another one comes along, you've been taught wrong. And that's why what we're talking about today is so important. Jonathan. It is, look at mar the marriage covenant. Marriage is a covenant, it's yeah. an agreement. It can be broken because it's between two individuals, sadly. It's not supposed to be. Mm. But what's the command in marriage? Be fruitful and multiply. That's right. And have some fun, too. There we go. <laughs> so fast forwarding a few chapters in Genesis, uh, this, it's, it's almost a hard word even to pronounce, the Noahic covenant. Unpack that for us, John. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a sad period, okay. actually, because man who's given dominion mm -hmm. under the, this, this Adamic covenant messes up really badly. In Genesis chapter 3, they disobey God. The one command, don't eat, don't do this. Right. And then the, the temptation, did God really say? We all know the story. It's part of the gospel, actually. Mm -hmm. They ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil prematurely mm -hmm. against God's command. And what they were doing is actually turning over their authority to the serpent. And that gives dominion mm -hmm. to the serpent mm -hmm. over the creation wow. on earth. And we're, we're still on a, uh, going through God's plan to redeem the world. We're not there yet. It, it, the world has not yet been redeemed. Right. We've been redeemed through the blood of the lamb individually, but the world is still unredeemed. That's and right. Still creation filled with groans, darkness. the scriptures tell us, waiting for the redemption of the sons and of God. And how did that happen? It happened because of God's commitment to Adam mm -hmm. And in cutting covenant mm -hmm. with Matt, with Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. they surrender that through their disobedience. And then what happens? Mankind, humankind, gets more and more evil with any with every generation. It's so so sad because the the, the first generation, you have Cain and Abel, yeah. and Cain becomes a murderer. Mm -hmm. I believe, looking at the Hebrew, that they thought that Cain would be the promised redeemer of Genesis 3.15, the, the crushing of the head. But Cain becomes a murderer. In the first generation, what do you have? You have the effects of sin mm -hmm. and rebellion coming mm -hmm. into, mm -hmm. I think, the DNA of humankind. Right. And the Bible tells us in the next uh, several chapters that the heart and the inclination of man gets more and more and more evil until you hit Genesis chapter 6, and now the thoughts of, and, the, and the actions of man are evil all the time. Only evil all the time. Only evil all the time. And God is actually grieved that he create, created man. Yeah. It's the saddest verse in the Bible. Right. God regrets having he made regrets man. He regrets it. I, that just breaks my heart every time I hear it. Uh, at that point, we have the beginning of the building of the ark because God has, God has determined I'm going to wipe out mankind. Save, save the one remnant 
That's right. knowing his family. So even in a story of judgment and destruction, uh, because of the grief in the heart of God, therein lies the covenant. I'm preserving one I'm and preserving his family one. whose heart is after my I'm heart. I'm preserving one. And the covenant that he then cuts with Noah mm -hmm. and his family is when the, the floods finally recede yeah. and he says, I'll never do this. This will never happen again. And you see the sign of the covenant in the form of a rainbow, which mm -hmm. has sadly been distorted mm -hmm. today. But the rainbow is actually the sign of the Noahic covenant. I'm just so impressed, Jonathan, with the reality that even in a story of destruction and judgment, redemption is at the center. God preserved Noah. He preserved the Jewish people. And you've written a book uh, about that, covering a number of these covenants in great detail and also telling that one story, as you said, Genesis I, I to Revelation of the story of God's I covenant. I did, and that's, that's why we decided to offer it this week because it ties together the different covenants. Yeah. You, the, the Jewish people have no place in, in God's plan until you understand that every covenant is built upon the other and his redemptive mm. plan starts at Genesis and goes through Revelation. That's right. You can't understand Gen uh, Revelation without understanding Genesis. Mm -hmm. It's really true. Right. So uh, I call it unlocking the prophetic mysteries of Israel, seven keys to understanding Israel's role in the end times. And it really ties into covenant. God is a covenant keeping God. Now that's great news that uh, as long as the sun shines by day and the moon and stars by night, they declare God is a covenant keeping God and he'll preserve Israel. But that's what you base your trust in God on that he continues to forgive you because he will never leave you or forsake you. He'll complete the work that he's begun. That's right. So we want to sow this into your life as you help us to reach Jewish people during a really critical time, Ezra. COVID-19 has so affected Israel and we're getting reports from Zimbabwe and the Jewish community in Ethiopia. Uh, sadly, we just lost a messianic leader to COVID in Ethiopia. Yeah, just two weeks ago. It's very sad, but, but God is good. What better time, Jonathan, to be out there in the name of Jesus, in the name of Yeshua, meeting practical needs in order to show his love and earn an opportunity to share the gospel with Jewish people and their neighbors. And we need your help to be a part of that. Jonathan, for those who are able to contribute uh, to our efforts in reaching Jewish people around the world on a monthly basis. We want to get this great 3D replica of the Ark of the Covenant, a practical reminder, put it on your desk, put it where you study the Bible and do your devotionals, a reminder that God is with us and that he's making promises that he'll be faithful to keep. Yeah, God is a covenant keeping God. I want you to, if you come away with anything from this program, grasp this, that God is a covenant keeping God. He has not forsaken the people of Israel. Uh, all of these covenants are still in effect. And Jesus, Jesus is the focal point. Yeshua is the focal point of God's plan of redemption. And he wants to use you to bring light to a dark world. We're going to take a moment uh, to show you about what products we have available. And then we'll come back and pray over each of you. God's covenants with his people are everlasting and are just as important to us today as they were when they were established thousands of years ago. It's important to know and remember these covenants to strengthen your faith in God. Jonathan wants to help you expand your knowledge of both the Old and New Testament, which is why he wrote Unlocking the Prophetic Mysteries of Israel. This intriguing book provides a perspective on the covenants of God and much, much more. Jonathan's unique Jewish view of scripture and his 38 years of study on this subject will inform and inspire you. Unlocking the Prophetic Mysteries of Israel is available today for your one-time gift of $40 and is supplemented by the companion study guide perfect for your Bible study. Don't miss this opportunity to receive both of these resources as you support Jewish Voice Ministries with a one-time gift today of $40 or more. Jonathan is encouraging you to join him as a new monthly Shalom partner today. Your continued monthly gifts are vital in providing the ongoing support so desperately needed in these communities. As you make an ongoing commitment and become a new monthly Shalom partner with a gift of just $30 today, you'll not only receive Unlocking the Prophetic Mysteries of Israel and the Study Guide, but Jonathan will also send you this stunning reproduction of the Ark of the Covenant 
Accurately depicting the ark described in scripture, this replica will remind you of God's faithfulness to those who call on his name. Again, you will receive all of these resources for your generous support of just $30 a month. Your gift today can change a life, providing the opportunity to not only meet their physical needs, but also the chance to share the love of Jesus in a very real and personal way. Call our 800 number now and let our representative know what level of giving you would like to participate in. If you prefer, you can always choose to give online at jewishvoice.tv or you can simply text JVMI to 474747. You can also donate by mailing your gift to the address on the screen. If you are already a Shalom partner, please call to receive a special offer just for you. Thank you for your generous support of Jewish Voice and for making a difference in so many lives through your sacrifice. Now, let's rejoin Jonathan and Ezra. God is a covenant-keeping God. That's right. He is faithful. All of these covenants are still in effect. The Noahic, the uh, Adamic, the Noahic, the Abrahamic, Mosaic, New Covenant, and He is faithful. He's faithful in your life. He's faithful in the life of your family. He will come through for you, no matter what you're going through. Ezra, if you'll just join with me in Absolutely. prayer, and you that are, are at home, Lord, thank you that you are a covenant-keeping God. And just as you made a covenant with Adam and Eve, you will complete that covenant. Just as you made a covenant through Noah to preserve the earth and the people of the earth, you are committed to fulfilling that. And all of the other covenants are embodied in the person of Jesus who said, I have come that you might have life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Thank you for meeting every need because you are faithful and you are covenant-keeping God. In the name of Yeshua, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And amen. Hey, if you'd like more information about our ministry, you can log on to our website, jewishvoice.tv. You'll find helpful resources on the website. You'll be able to see the impact that your support is having on uh, Jewish communities around the world, especially in Israel and Africa. And in addition, send us your prayer requests and uh, you can do it right on the website. We love hearing from you. And I want you to know that we care about you and we'll pray for every need that we receive. I also wanna thank you for your support of Jewish Voice as we reach out to Jewish people around the world and as we close our program, I want to remind you, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. The Bible says, may they prosper who love thee. So if you want to prosper, pray for the Jewish people, especially during this difficult time. A special thanks to Ezra for joining me again today. And until next time, this is Jonathan Burnus and Ezra Benjamin saying shalom and God bless you. Listen to this now, six out of 10 Americans today don't currently have a will or trust and another 30 to 35% are either poorly written or outdated. Because of your financial support to our ministry, we're able to provide you with independent, professional advice to help you develop a will or trust at no cost to you. Go to jvmi.org forward slash trust to learn more.